got a service call. It's a no heat in a dining room. So let's go see what we can get into. Come on along for the ride, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Smile. Be wonderful. Be positive. Go to the gym. Eat right. Shut up, Dennis. Later. Hello, everybody. What's going on today? <laughs> so, inducer motor is on. It's good. Let's check our switches. That doesn't seem like it's popped. Let's see. Probably not going to have anything here on that one. So we're gonna check across our high limit. If we have 24 volts here, it's open. It's open. And another way to check, you go one line to ground, and you should have 24. And then take the other one to ground, you should have nothing. So that means nothing on my meter. So high limit's open. We're gonna take power. We're gonna shut it down. Shut the meter off, save our batteries. And now we're gonna inspect the heat exchanger. And we're gonna inspect the high limit. It is a 160 minus 30 high limit. So it should open at 160 and reclose. So let's see if there's just, you know, there's a bunch of buildup on there. So sometimes they just get dirty and they just need to be brushed out, but we gotta inspect the heat exchanger. And you guys know how I like, I gotta brush everything out. Oh, fuck it, weird. Clean the flame sensor here in a minute. I got my dollar bill on me. Oh, let's clean this bad boy off. See if we can get it to reset. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of here. We're gonna take our meter. We're gonna put it to the beep test. And you should get a beep. My meter works. So sometimes if you just tap it, you can get it to reset. Let's see if it reset. So, all right, limit got to reset. So now that we have continuity across here, we're gonna see, we're gonna stick our probe in there with it. So, man, that is hard to do. Should go that way. Now that it's closed, what you want to do is you want to put it back in, put your wires back on, gently. And you only want to put, <clears throat> you just want to put the top screw back in. Only put the top screw in. And then what you want to do is you want to Grab your thermometer. It's a little chilly out today. It's not bad. 25, 24. What we're gonna do is since we reset that, this is a pretty basic sim pretty basic system, this one here. We're gonna take our, our meter, we're gonna stick this in like this, turn it on like that. So one screw in, one screw out, stick in your pocket thermometer. Units like to be brushed out. They do. 
They tell me all the time, they say yes. Me like. So, now that we got it. Things tidied up a little bit. I'm gonna fire back up. Let's see if we can get her to ignite. My video's gonna shut off here. One sec. So she fired right up. That's good. We're gonna check our gas pressure here. We've got our port over here and right here. That's your in and that's your out to the burners. So now we're just gonna watch our meter and we're gonna go check the blower. Let me check the blower real quick. This one, there's not that many screws in this thing. I'm going to fill in all the screws. Got a whole bunch of screws in there. Let's check our amps on our blower. Uh, let's see where we are at. This is blower. Yeah, we can check it from this one. 4.4. And the inducer is at so 4.4 minus 0.6 and that's the amps on the blower so we have 3.8 amps on that 0.6 on here this is rated for uh, 0.5 so you 0.5 0.6 you're okay look just watching our supply temperature to see if it's gonna get up to 160 to see if see if our limits weak or see if we have a problem with the heat exchanger, but I do have to open up that heat exchanger and check that out as well. And the exchanger is going to be in this one. Or not. I guess the exchanger's not in that one. Alright. Let me go find the exchanger. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait. No? I would say not, sir. Yeah, could be weak. But we all know. It's funny, though, because I've been running to so many limit switches lately that have been failing. You know what I mean? It's oh, Normally, they're, they're a pretty good little thing. Do I like having nitrogen on the roof? <laughs> it's working. Should be it. That should be it. 
Yeah, that's pretty damn good compared to the giant maddenness bullshit it was. That's good. Sweet. Yeah. I can't believe how many screws I fucking put in. I think I ended up putting in 39 screws. No, they were missing. It was missing 39 screws. Like, they were not there. I wouldn't randomly put in 39 screws. No way. I can't believe how many screws I fucking put in. I think I ended up putting in 39 screws. No, they were missing. It was missing 39 screws. Like, they were not there. I wouldn't randomly put in 39 screws. No way.